Have you ever been in a car and noticed a dashboard light turn on? Maybe it told you that you are low on gas or that the engine is too hot. These lights are important for the driver to know how the car is doing. When cars communicate with drivers like this, we can say that they are talking to the driver. This helps drivers to know that their car is in good condition or that they're driving safely. Interested in building your own talking truck? Let's get this started. The design challenge um, is trying to make a talking truck. The truck must be able to identify that it has an issue. And second, it must be able to communicate to us or talk to us that there is an issue. You're going to build a model vehicle that can tell you if there are any problems, like if the door is left open or if the stuff inside is too heavy. You'll be using circuits to creatively build ways for your truck to communicate. There are a lot of ways to do this. So remember to be persistent, curious, and creative. Engineers are using these same ideas with big trucks on the highway. Let's learn from some Cummins engineers who build real trucks that can talk to their drivers. Hi, my name is Mahesh Yanamandram, and I'm a field test engineer at Cummins Inc. Hi, my name is uh, Tom, and I'm a mechanical engineer, and I work at Cummins. Mahesh travels all over the country to test how trucks are driving, and Tom looks at all the information that is collected. They monitor how the trucks are performing, like if a truck is having trouble going up a hill, or if it's having trouble carrying a certain amount of weight. I analyze data that comes back from trucks that are running around all over the world, and we look for problems, and then we work on fixing those problems. For example, if a truck isn't able to drive well when it's carrying heavy cargo, that could cause problems. So they look for ways to see if they can recognize the problem before the truck goes on the road. They set up systems to ask questions and then listen for the answers. It's a lot like how a doctor might ask you questions when you visit the doctor's office. We ask the truck different types of questions like, hey truck, uh, how are you feeling today? Are you feeling good? Are you running too hot? Are you too cold? Uh, are you getting enough air? Are you breathing well? The truck answers to us, you know, yes I do or no I don't. So, Mahesh and Tom are sort of like truck doctors. They help trucks run better by testing how they drive and fixing any problems. But in order to figure out what's going on, these truck doctors don't use medicine. They have to use engineering. The first thing engineers do is set up sensors all around the trucks, especially on the engine. These sensors can monitor and communicate to the drivers and engineers how the trucks are performing. The trucks can also alert engineers who are very far away about big problems using text messages or cell phone calls. Mahesh may be on site with the truck, but Tom can help identify a problem from afar. Pretty cool jobs, huh? Both of them are thinking about ways to make trucks safer, smarter, and better for the environment by thinking about how trucks communicate. Are you ready to start thinking like a truck doctor to start building your own talking truck? Check out the activity on Curiosity Machine. My name is Jennifer Rumsey. I'm the Vice President and Chief Technical Officer for Cummins Incorporated. The thing about being an engineer is that you really get to take math and science and apply it to real world problems. So as we're working on bringing new technologies and products to market, we want to make sure those are clean and better for the environment. And so how we think about innovating and creating new ideas and solving tough problems as a team that allows us to deliver technologies that are cleaner to the environment. I love that I can drive down the road and see uh, trucks and buses and things that are powered by Cummins engines and know that I was a part of making that a reality.